On today's episode of The Joy of Editing, Topaz Photo AI gets a new update. This is version 1.1.2. We're going to be getting a look at it. New in this update is apply current settings to all images. Now, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. We're going to get a look at that today. Plus, there's a holiday promo going on right now. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully, and it's coming close to that holiday season. I hope everyone is well out there and you're all having a good time. Today, let's look at this new update for Topaz Photo AI version 1.1.2. In case you missed the Black Friday sale, there's a holiday promo going on right now. You can save 25% on all apps and save 30% on the image quality bundle. Just click on my affiliate link in the description right below this video. It'll take you to the sale. If you own any of the Topaz products already, log into your account and they'll give you a special price to complete your bundle. And I believe that goes for license renewals as well. And happy holidays, everyone. When you use my link, I make a small commission and it helps me to keep these tutorials coming your way. And for that, I thank you. Here's just a few of the changes since version 1.1.1. They've added the apply current settings to all in the image menu. New model for suggested strength parameter for raw denoise strong. Updated camera profiles. There's a lot of bug fixes. It's just an ongoing process here. And Photo AI is getting better and better. But we're going to take a look at the apply current settings to all feature today on this video. And by the way, don't forget, if you come up here to help and click on Give Feedback, it'll take you to the Topaz website where you could click right here and see what the roadmap is for Photo AI, what new features they're working on, what they're developing, as well as clicking on any of the updates. Like if we click on this update right here, we can see all the new things that have been added. So don't forget about that. That's important information for you. And on this page as well, you could give your feedback. If you're having any issues or if you want them to change some things or add things, you could do it right here. To show you the new feature, apply current image settings to all images, I brought in seven raw files into Photo AI. When you bring your images into Photo AI and hover over the first thumbnail, you're going to see what the autopilot settings are for the first image. Now, it only scans the first image, by the way. And it's telling us that raw... It's using the strong model at 10%, and the 28% stands for the detail adjustment. Now under sharpen, it's using the standard sharpen model using 13%, and 20% stands for clarity, what Photo AI determines it needs. And then you can hover over any of the other thumbnails, and all these thumbnails say autopilot. In other words, they're going to get the autopilot setting, and it also lets us know Optionally, you can click to preview the autopilot settings. If you, you can click on that image and see what the settings look like. Right now, all these images will get the autopilot setting. In other words, if I click save seven images, it will go ahead and save all images and apply auto settings, autopilot settings to every one of the images. Now, each image will be different according to what Photo AI thinks it needs. And for most of us, that's all we need. But let's say you were out on a photo shoot and the lighting was pretty even for all of the images and you shot at the same ISO levels for all of your images. So they were all shot in similar conditions. And you might say, well, I want to determine what my settings will be for photo AI and I want to apply them across the board to each and every one of those images. And that's what this new feature is all about. And I also want to point out, not only can you change the denoising and the sharpening, you can also apply the same upscaling to all the images. Say you want to upscale all the images two times. That will be applied as well to all of the images. Now, all we need to do is work on one of the images. And by the way, you can click on each one of the images and adjust them just the way you want them. But this feature is when you want to apply the same adjustment to all images. For instance, if I said, I don't want to use strong, I want to use normal. And because I think I'm getting a better result there. And I may want to increase the strength of the noise removal a little bit and maybe up the detail on it. And I'm happy with the standard sharpening, but maybe I want to apply a little bit more clarity to it. 
And then I may say, well, you know what? I want to enhance resolution on all these images so I can click that on. Then you have choices here, low resolution graphics and natural. I usually like natural. I think it does a really good job. And you can use this on raw images as well. We'll give it a second here to update itself. And also, if I wanted to, I can upscale these images. Say I may want to upscale them all two times. I don't want to do that, but you could do that and apply that to each and every one of these images. And now to apply this setting from this first image to all the images, you got to come to that first image and you see the three dots here, click on that. And right here at the top, you see where it says apply. Now you have choices, autopilot, autopilot to all, or current settings to all. Just click on current settings to all, and you're going to get this message that comes up. Are you sure you want to apply the current lead displayed image settings to all open images. This will overwrite existing settings and cannot be undone. So if you're sure you want that, click apply. And now that setting from the first image is applied to all the other images. Now when I hover over these thumbnails, you're going to notice that they all have the exact same settings to them. So they're all going to get the same adjustment. And now all I need to do is click save seven images. And you can see here's the queue right here. They're all going to get the same adjustment. And then you could determine if you want to add a prefix or a suffix, or if you want to add applied filters to the file name, you can determine where you want to save them to. I always like to save them to the original folder, but you could click the drop down and you have different choices here. And then as far as format, you can determine these are raw files. So I'd want to preserve the input format, but you could change them to JPEGs, PNGs, TIFFs, or whatever but I like to use preserve the input format and now I'll simply click save and you can see they're all starting to save out and it's just that easy. They're all going to get the same adjustment settings on them. And here I am at the folder that I started with. Here's all my photo AI denoised and sharpened and enhanced images. And here's the original raw files right there as well so they're all in that same folder well there it is everyone hey and don't forget about the holiday promo if you want to save some money on some topaz products or renew some licenses or whatever take advantage of that now if you enjoyed the video today please give it a like and share it with your friends and if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. You'll get a notification each time I put up a new tutorial. I want to thank everyone for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.